Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage World Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer, and in today's video, we are going to discuss five signs of insulin resistance. So let's get started. So insulin resistance is not necessarily something you can test just based on how you feel alone because your feelings are quite subjective when it comes to this. Insulin resistance is when your body is non-responsive, specifically your cells do not respond to the insulin released from the pancreas. What that means is when you consume carbohydrates, your body is not able to use the energy in those carbs as fuel. The problem is when you consume carbohydrates, your body needs to take those carbs, shuttle them out of the blood and into the cells where they can be used for actual cellular energy, for function, for all types of bodily functions, uses, what have you. If your body can't get the glucose out of the blood and into the cells, insulin is the messenger hormone that facilitates that reaction. Now, if your body is resistant to insulin, you are starving on the cellular level. And this can cause a lot of problems. It means your blood sugar is in a very high state. It means that your body is more likely to take all of that excess high blood sugar and store it as fat because it is toxic for your body to remain in a state of elevated blood sugar. So there are a lot of things and reasons why being in a state where your body cannot properly process carbohydrates is going to be detrimental. And in this video, I wanna give you guys five specific conclusive things that you can get tested to know for sure whether or not this is you. Now there are gonna be some reasons why people may suspect that you have insulin resistance. And the number one thing that you can confirm and you should be looking at to determine whether or not you may have it is your waistline measurement. If you are storing more fat specifically in the midsection, for men, if your visceral fat and your whole circumference of your waist is at or over 40 inches, for women, if you are at or over 35 inches, It is a very telltale sign that you have insulin resistance. That's number one. Number two is your blood pressure readings. Your blood pressure is something that you can get tested and measured at your doctor's office. And if your readings are greater than 130 over 80, that is a sign that you have insulin resistance. Sign number three is a fasting blood glucose level. So this is the amount of glucose that is in your blood in a fasted state, meaning you did not consume anything. If this value is greater than 100 milligrams per deciliter, there's probably a problem. Most people are probably somewhere between 80 and 100, but 100 and higher, there's definitely cause for concern. Cause number four is a fasting triglyceride level of 150 milligrams per deciliter you're over that. The last but not least is your hemoglobin A1C levels. If those values are between 5.7 and 6.4, you are in the pre-diabetic range. You want to be under 5.7 to be healthy. If you're between 5.7 and 6.4, you need to take action immediately regarding changing your diet to make sure that you can reverse out of it. You can reverse out of a pre-diabetic state as a result of insulin resistance by changing your nutrition, but it's something you have to proactively and consciously work on. Now, if your A1C levels are greater than 6.4, you are diabetic and it has elevated to a more serious state. And not only do you need to change your diet, but you may also need medication to address the situation. So I think it is super important that you guys be paying attention to these things. If you have not been to the doctor in quite some time, make sure you are getting these things tested. Do not wait until it's too late. If you have a history of metabolic syndrome, high blood pressure, diabetes in your family, get tested, get tested, get tested because you can do something about it. And unfortunately, I have been seeing more and more people in their early 30s dealing with this at such a young age, people don't really pay attention to what they eat. And the problem is it's not just people that are overweight and obese. There are people that are technically at a healthy weight and are starting to see these issues at such a young age. So if this is you, get on it, figure out what's going on with you, do something proactive to improve your nutrition. Remember, it's about health first, weight second. So. 
this is you, please comment below what types of things you have seen. Please comment any experiences you may have with insulin resistance. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.